Thank you. I will not continue any further, Chair. Thank you very much uh, for that introduction. I, I um, as you know, we've signed the five member motion um, to call in this decision, and uh, I'd like to start by really uh, thanking all the people, all my constituents, and those of Councillor Rees Patel and PR Sinclair who are here this evening. As you can see, people feel very strongly about this issue, and these are but a, a small handful of the hundreds who have been meeting um, in Rushing Mead. Um, and I wish to pay tribute to them for their, their diligence and their commitment to, to the local uh, library and community centre. I think there are four main arguments, Chair, against the proposals put forward by Council Master. Um, firstly is the loss of a very well-used um, uh, facility in an area with only two very small facilities and two small buildings. The second is that the proposal, in all our views really locally, and we know the centres for many years, is that they're unworkable. Um, uh, they achieve a very small saving, and in fact, uh, the saving could be as small as £5,000, and I'll explain later. Um, again, local people, the third reason, have not been listened to in our view. Um, there's cons every bit of the consultation was clear and opposed to the move of the library into the recreation centre, uh, yet there's no, no uh, notice been taken of, of that view at all in this consultation. It's there, but the decision is, it totally goes against that. And I, I do think that other options, the fourth reason, have not been sufficiently explored. Um, uh, Chair, a lot of people are outraged at this proposal. Uh, there have been three meetings of over 100 people already in the freezing cold outside one of them of the library. The local MP is opposed to the proposals, and there's now 4,000 signatures on a petition opposing the proposals to move the, the library into the recreation centre. Um, the library had 27,310 users last year and the recreation centre 24,365 users. That's 51,000 users of two very small buildings, Chair. Um, and a building that really is half the, about the size of this room, if you go to those pillars to that wall. This is what we're talking about. It's not big centres. The library is about this big. The recreation centre is the same size. The space we're sitting in excluding where the public are. Um, the, 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 the fact that the proposal is unworkable, the second reason, I think, is the library, I say that this, it's twice the size, and yet you're going to say, want to get those 51,000 users per year into half the space. It's not going to work. You can't get a court into a pint pot. Um, so there will not be the same amount of use. There's no way in which you can get you know, 51,000 people going through the door of the recreation centre. So use is going to fall off. Children won't be able to do their homework. And it's not going to be possible. The same reasons were forward for Belgrave Library, which we listened to. You can't have a Zumba Keep Fit group next to children doing their homework in the same space or even in the same building. These are not compatible uses. So one will drive out the other. And if you give priority to the library, then you drive out the groups <coughs> that pay rent. Then the £9,000 a year income that was made last year will obviously be reduced. And in fact, if it goes down to zero because the library is in operation and no user groups use the centre, then the, the saving, the predicted saving, won't be 14,000 from closing the library. It'll only be 5,000 because you lose 9,000 of that in income straight away. So what we're looking at here is a proposal to close a library, the only library in walking distance of tens of thousands of people, to save £5,000. Chair, I, I, it, it's, it, it's un, impossible for me to imagine that, that we've got into this position. And that's why I'm asking this committee to, to ask the executive to review the situation. Um, I think local people feel that they, they took part honestly in the consultation. Um, and I was involved in that. Councillor Rita Patel were, Councillor Clare were involved in the consultations. We had meetings, we met with officers. Many suggestions were put forward. And they really are disappointed uh, that, that the proposals don't take into account any of those suggestions. Um, they were even prepared to look at community asset transfer of the recreation centre uh, to the community, um, which would have saved some money, but that hasn't been considered, as it has in other areas, as in New Parks, in Western Ward for Manor House, and indeed in, in, uh, in Beaumont Lees as well. That option has not been considered for Rushy Mead, and so we think it's uh, extremely unfortunate. How, how long have we got? We have one minute. Okay, Chair, thank you, one. Chair. I was going to prompt you. Anyway. I think there are four alternative options that I would like OSC to consider. One, the complete remodelling of the library, as I asked for a meeting with the City Mayor and Councillor Master 
uh, in May of last year. Um, we've got figures that say that the, if the library was remodelled to allow a community centre and a library to exist on the library site, um, the centre could be sold for £125,000 possibly, which could contribute to that. That's not, it would need more money from the council, but the council has committed uh, recently £400,000 to do Port Pie Library. Why is it okay to put £400,000 into Port Pie, but nothing into uh, Rushy Mead to keep the library open? Um, I think, you know, it's not going to accommodate those two sets of users. I think the other option, the second option, would be to increase the income from the recreation centre to cross-subsidise the library. It makes £9,000, it costs £11,000 to run. So actually, if it was to make a few more thousand, you might achieve your saving that way. The third option, uh, uh, Chair, would be to find money from elsewhere. Um, and I suggest that uh, following the City Mayor's lead, he's already taken £645,000 out of the highway's maintenance budget. It would be very easy to take £14,000 out to keep Rushy Mead Library open. That wouldn't Including be difficult sir. at all. The budget is £10 million we're talking about. The last option, I would think, is the asset transfer that I've, I've talked about. I would just end by making one final observation, yes. uh, Chair, if I might. Um, as I said, Rushy Mead Library had 27,000 users last year. There's another building in the city that had 27,000 users last year. And uh, the City Mayor, in, because he's very good at this, has found or is about to invest £7 million in that building. Um, I don't know if people are guessing which building it is, um, but uh, and I fully support that. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a building I love. It's, a, it's, a, it's part of the city that I love. Um, but at the same time, we're investing £7 million in a building with the same number of visitors as Russian Mead Library. We're proposing to close Russian Mead Library. So my plea to this committee and to the city mayor and to the assistant mayor is to find £14,000 to right. keep open a community library. Um, of course, the £7 million investment is going to Jury Wall, um, which I think is good. So that's all we're asking for, really, is that your committee asks the City Mayor and the Assistant Mayor to review this decision, to seek to find that £14,000. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.